Hello there, good people from the web. Thank you for stopping by. Nuno here, greetings from Portugal. So today it was a, a day full of news. Today is the 30th of October. So it was the Apple event. I already have a video on my thoughts on the new products. Also iOS 12.1 final build out. The video is out also. And uh, macOS Mojave. 10.14.1 final build is out also. So, since I've been following all the betas, let's go ahead uh, and check uh, first the build number for this release. Let's go ahead here. So, the build number is the 18B75, so we don't have no more letters. If you are wondering how you can get this number, just click you know, and the number will appear. My specs, the specs for this machine is, are here, since we are seeing some Geekbench uh, results. Uh, many of you like that, so if you want, go ahead and stop it. Now, the um, download for this build, it's about, on this machine, 3.33 gigabytes and Mac OS Mojave this final build and since the, the you know this 10.14.1 final build uh, you know add support for the group FaceTime video and audio calls up to 32 people uh, you know uh, of course performance and also bug fixes as well as you that are fans fans of emojis emotions and everything like that uh, you have up to 70 new emojis to play around that's not my kind of thing but well for the guys that like it there you have it now regarding results on this mac uh, it's on par with the, with all the betas of this release okay as you can see here the build and you know mac os 10.14.1 the results are the same you know higher a little, a little bit higher a little bit lower since all the betas but you know it's it's the same and geekbench is geekbench and the compute on metal performance is a little bit higher than the the, the betas they were on 38 uh, almost 39 and now it's 39 so I'm pleased with that. Now, regarding the group FaceTime, many of you like this feature. I already tested on my iPhone and iPad. It works perfectly here on FaceTime. On your Mac, you are also able to do this. Let's go ahead. As you can see, I have to blur because I have phone numbers there. Let's go ahead. Let's call myself. MV FaceTime video. Okay. I will answer it. Let me mute here the volume. Here, just a second. Okay. And what you have to do, sorry about the echo, it's just add person, okay? And then click the name. I will blur this. Uh, I will call myself again. Okay, and just go add. And now you have two phone numbers and on my phone it's ringing uh, you know, as you can see again and here we are so let's quit this let's quit this and okay so it's working perfect at least you know uh, of course I will have to test it then with other people you know real calls but for now it is working with no problems the issue with the pdf files when you want to highlight on dark mode or even on light mode you know it's still here it appears to be slightly uh, you know not so dark but even though it is if you want to highlight something uh, it is a little bit dark the same thing happen if you go to the light mode it is the same if you go to general light mode and if you want to highlight as you can see it is the same now let's go to the dark mode it's cooler uh, now regarding guys uh, the system how it uh, it is performing i will have here a tool that is no longer available i never test this uh, i tested when the mac the the new macbook pro core i9 was released and it was a big issue here 
this is a 2.5 gigahertz machine i'm recording now uh, screencasting and screen recording with ScreenFlow. and as you can see uh, the base clock of this machine is 2.5 and we are you know about uh, overclocking about 2.93 okay so it's it's okay the temperature it's okay 66 degrees and the cpu usage about three percent so everything seems you know pretty pretty good let's close this now uh, regarding uh, issues or and new things let's go to new things here guys i already showed you all of this so nothing new no new wallpapers let's go to the desktop no new dynamic wallpapers everything it's the same uh, here everything the same also nothing new here to show and of course uh, I already follow in all the betas all the issues I, I hope they are all fixed uh, I had an issue with screen flow I'm now um, using it to record I had a blank canvas it was fixed on beta 5 and of course it is fixed now already tested it and everything it is working now regarding this uh, um, app that i have here uh, above on my menu bar uh, it tell me tell me about you know the temperature the for example the ram usage i'm only using uh, about uh, 3.5 uh, megabytes gigabytes sorry of the 16 available so that's pretty good four percent of cpu usage and 65 percent of the or now it's 72 but the fans are not kicking so pretty uh, good with even with screen recording regarding the battery as i told on my previous videos uh, of this uh, uh, build uh, for me the battery is the same as i sierra and sierra nothing new here keep in mind of course i only have 35 cycles on the three-year-old machine and my current capacity is higher than the design capacity still but i have covered that on the beta 5 i will leave the card on the end of the video if you want to check that um, and guys from now this is all of course this is the first look there isn't anything uh, new test facetime seems nice okay check your computer this is the final build you can go ahead and install it uh, and for me for now there isn't any issue if there is i will make a, a follow-up video in order to you know to tell you what is going on in order also for us to share experiences go ahead put on the comments below any any question that you want to be asked any problem so you can share experiences and fix the problems of each other so for now this is all thank you so much for stopping by stay safe and i'll see you in the next one bye bye